Welcome to this video about setting of the Danfoss KPLP low pressure type pressure switch. In this video, we'll give you some tips how to do an efficient setting of the KPLP type pressure switch, which you see here, so that you ensure safe and reliable system operation. Therefore, we will show you how to identify the given KPLP type version to set up, how to set the cut in pressure on the low pressure side how to set the differential pressure on the low pressure side. Here you see the different versions of KPLP type pressure switches. As seen here, the regulating range, differential pressure and reset function vary with the different KPLP type versions. We will demonstrate the setting procedure with the KPLP type version having the specification shown here. Please note that the setting procedure and important tips given are similar for the other KPLP type pressure switches. So let us get started. You can identify the selected KPLP type version by the low pressure scale seen here. And on top of the KP pressure switch, you can identify the KP type and code number by the ID marking as seen here. Therefore, you do not need to remove the front cover to identify or do the setting of the KPLP type pressure switch. Please note that the layout of scale, setting screws and reset vary with the different KPLP type versions. Here see the tools which you can use to do the setting of the KPLP type pressure switch. All you need are two sizes of slotted screwdrivers as seen here with these examples. These can be used for removal of the locking screw for the locking plate and for the LP setting. We recommend to preset the KPLP type switch before installing it into the system for easy and trouble free installation and operation. Once the setting is completed, then wire the pressure switch to electrical supply and connect it to the piping as part of the installation and pre-test with the pressure gauge that the LP settings are working correctly under system conditions. Please check the other online videos about installation of KP pressure switches. The first step is to set the LP low pressure start on the cut in range scale seen here and then set the LP low pressure differential pressure on the diff scale seen here. Here you see the LP low pressure and differential pressure range of the KPLP type version which we have selected to demonstrate the setting procedure. This version is with automatic reset on the low pressure side. Again, please note that the layout of scale, setting screws and reset vary with the different KPLP type versions. The KPLP type pressure switch is typically used for compressor protection. You set the LP low pressure start on the cut in range scale, which is the USP upper set point illustrated here. Once this pressure point is exceeded, then the compressor starts. You then set the LP low pressure differential pressure on the diff scale which will give you the lower set point LSP illustrated here. Once the pressure is below this point, then the compressor stops. Since this demonstrated KP version is with automatic reset on the low pressure side, then it resets automatically after operational stop and is then ready for reactivation. So let us start the LP low pressure and differential pressure setting procedure. Firstly, loosen and remove the locking screw and the locking plate as seen here. This will make it possible to adjust the low pressure and the differential setting spindles. Please note that you do not need to remove the front cover to do this setting. Then set the LP start pressure to a required value by rotating the low pressure setting spindle as seen here. Rotate clockwise to increase the pressure setting and counterclockwise to decrease the pressure setting. Now set the LP differential pressure to a required value by rotating the differential setting spindle as seen here. Rotate clockwise to decrease the differential setting and counterclockwise to increase the differential setting. As specified here, one rotation of the low pressure setting spindle equals 0.7 bar or 10 psi. One rotation of the differential setting spindle equals 0.15 bar or 2 psi. Please note that the LP stop pressure must be above absolute vacuum. 
If with low stop pressure the compressor will not stop, then check and ensure that the differential setting is not too high. You have now set the LP low pressure start and stop points for the compressor. Finally, remount the locking plate and locking screw and tighten the screw. The setting spindles and the pressure settings are now locked. The KPLP type pressure switch is now preset and ready for an easy and trouble free installation into the system. As mentioned earlier, wire the pressure switch to electrical supply and connect it to the piping as part of the installation and pre-test with the pressure gauge that the LP settings are working correctly under system conditions. Please check the other online videos about installation of KP pressure switches. And also have a look at the other online learnings about Danfoss pressure switches. So now you know how to identify the given KPLP type version to set up, set the cut-in pressure on the low pressure side, set the differential pressure on the low pressure side, all this ensuring a safe and reliable system operation.